What's up guys and welcome to my first Let's Play. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the intro, this is going to be a Pokemon Let's Play. Uh, this is Pokemon Sapphire, one of my favorite games, if not the favorite game. Uh, this one's going to be a little different though, not going to do like a normal, uh, sorry about that, not going to do like a normal uh, Pokemon run through. This is going to be what's called a Nuzlocke challenge. If you want the official rules, uh, along with some optional ones that some people do, you can check the description below. It will have the link to the Wikipedia page, or Bulbapedia page, sorry, and also the link to Visual Boy Advance and also the uh, ROM that I'm playing. So feel free to join in, go along with me, whatever. And let's get to the rules. Rule number one is I have to catch only the first Pokemon that I see in every or in each route. I can catch only the first Pokemon. So, if I run into, let's say, Zigzagoon in the first route, and let's say I kill it or I run for it, I can't ca catch anything else from that, uh, from that area. Doesn't matter what happens, it has to be the first one, even if it's a repeat. Some people play where if you find a repeat, uh, you can go on to another one, but I kind of see that as cheating, so we're not going to do that. And rule number two is, uh, if a Pokemon dies, I have no choice but to release it. I cannot use it. Uh, there are going to be some ex exceptions to these rules, like if I get stuck in an area and don't have a Pokemon that can learn cut or whatever, um, I can go and find one. I just can't use him anymore. I can only use him uh, for that particular HM or whatever. And rule number three is I must name every single Pokemon. This one is different uh, through each Let's Play you're going to watch. Um, that's one of my rules. I just think it, it helps helps to make the quote-unquote deaths of the Pokemon a lot more serious. And the uh, final rule, this is also a, a unique one that I decided to do, mainly because I hate every single starter in this gen. Um, basically, uh, it depends on my last digit of my trainer ID, which Pokemon I'm going to start with. If it's 1 through 3, I will pick the Grass-type Trico. And if it's 4 through 6, I will pick the Fire-type Torchic. Really hope I get Torchic because he does help. Um, fire Pokemon tend to be the easiest ones to start with in any game. And 7 through 9, I will get Mudkip. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite out of those, it'd probably be Mudkip. Just because I've, I'm, always, uh, I'm always into the water starters. But he's not going to be very good. Um, Time-based events don't really matter on the emulator because they don't happen, so I really don't care what time it is. Um, if you didn't catch all those rules, they will be in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started. This is actually a reference to your father, uh, the fifth gen leader you fight. He's actually only a few towns over, but you have to skip him for whatever reason. But he... He is probably going to be where we get caught up on. I'm, I'm betting we're going to lose probably two or three just at him. It doesn't matter how much you level, how much you grind. If you're not, you know, ten levels higher than him, he will destroy you. Um, I remember the first time I did Nuzlocke, I had, I believe, six Pokemon, and they were all within two or three levels of him, and it didn't matter. He destroyed me. For whatever reason, the normal type... Why did I do that again? Uh, for whatever reason, the normal type gym leaders are always buffed, it seems. Um, maybe because normal types aren't that great. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that. But I don't really like like any normal types other than like Chansey and things like that. But hopefully we get a Torchic to go against that gym because uh, his third evolution is a... He's a fire fighting, so he'll get a few fighting moves. I'm not sure when he learns them. It might be later on that he learns it. But uh, hopefully we will have him. I didn't even check that. Uh, let's go ahead and check it. Cross your fingers, guys. Hopefully it's not the terrible one, Trico. Probably my least favorite starter I've ever seen. It seems like they went from Generation 1 doing great starters, Generation 2 doing equally if not better starters, and then this one, it's just all crap. Don't know why. Okay, Mudkip. Uh, I can handle that. I can deal with that. Child, 
what say you? Again, what say you? Not a level 2 Puccina. I like how he runs past his bag like seven times and does not think to grab one of these out. Clearly it's not that tough. Uh, here we go. First battle. Cross fingers, hopefully I do not die. I'm not really worried about it. I think tackle is one of the one of the few starting moves that actually can miss. Um, Trico gets the best one. I think it's Pound, which has like 40 base power. Tackle and Scratch, I think, only have 35. I might be wrong on that. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. Well, that seems, uh, safe. So come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Didn't really give me a choice. So, Daniel, I've heard so much about you from your father, that bastard. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with me. I have no idea what that is. Okay, I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like for you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Yay! Too bad it's not a Squirtle. While you're at it, why not give it a nickname? Well, I don't really have a choice. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it... Is it a male? It's a male. I'm gonna go ahead and call it Michael, after, uh, the other commentator on this channel. Hopefully he does not die, because that will make me sad. Alright, if you work at Pokemon and Game Experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid May is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. It might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. What do you think? Yes, I would like to see May. Hopefully she's easy. One of the good things about this game is they actually have two rivals as opposed to the uh, one you get in the other games. And rival battles, they kind of always been my... Uh, my favorite part of Pokemon because you build your teams and then they just throw, throw you know, random shit at a shit out at you, and uh, you can pretty much match their types with uh, better types, and they're just I just enjoy them. I think they're fun. Uh, by the way, guys, these first battles do not count um, as the first Pokemon I see because I don't have any Pokeballs, so. I don't think it'd be fair for me to not be able to catch um, anything on the first two rounds, considering the next one has like seven trainers you have to fight, and I'd rather have a little backup other than my kid. Kind of concerned as to whether or not I should heal before this battle, but if I die, oh well, I die. But I am going to gain another level, just to uh, give me a little edge over uh, May there. Go, Michael. Oh, Michael. I am disappointed. Okay, I take that back. I am going to heal because that's like half my health. And I don't want to go into the first battle. Whoa! Michael, do not let me down, Michael. Come on, Michael. There we go. Yeah, definitely going to heal. Mud Slap. That is actually going to be extremely useful. No Pokemon, thank god. Let's go ahead and uh, get them all healed up for this battle. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. That is a terrible thing to say. Why would you ever wish that on anyone? You dumb bitch. You pink-haired bitch. Dancing flowers. No battles, no battles, no battles. Don't feel like healing again. There we go. Alright guys, cross your fingers. Hopefully I do not die and uh, end this Let's Play before it even begins. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. Let's. I'll give you a taste of what being a, re a trainer is like. Give you a taste of something. Pokemon Trainer May sent out Trico. Terrible, terrible Pokemon. Terrible design. 
three damage. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably going to be very easy. And he's probably not going to even use Pound. He'll use Leer or whatever, uh, whatever BS move they give him. Okay, maybe he'll keep using Pound. Either way, not worried about it. And he goes down. First battle completed. And another level. Player defeated Pokemon Trainer May. Wow, that's great, Daniel. You're pretty good. I know. Daniel got 300 for winning. Where does a kid get $300? You might be able to print any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Back to the lab again. I will join you. Do I need to heal? Probably not. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Daniel, over here. No way. Oh, hi, Daniel. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Daniel, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokédex. Something I will never complete. I've played every single Pokémon game multiple times, and the closest I got was on this one. I think I got, like, 187. Don't really care about, uh, completing any of them, because the only thing you get is a certificate. Anyways. Oh, wow, Daniel, you got a Pokédex, too? That's great, just like me. I've got something for you. Now we can start catching Pokémon. And I'm gonna hope for a... Zigzagoon over a Puccina, just because, uh, whatever Puccina evolves into, Mytiana or whatever, is not that good, and I don't, I don't plan on using Zigzagoon, but he does have a cool ability, uh, what do you want, mom? Daniel, did you introduce yourself to Prof Birch? Well, no shit. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You are your father's child, alright? Mom, that made no sense. Daniel, switch shoes with the running shoes. Yay! Daniel, those shoes came with instructions. <laughs> I've never seen shoes that come with instructions. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. Yeah, he's gonna be overjoyed when he annihilates me. In about seven episodes from now. Alright guys, this is gonna be the first Pokemon that I can catch. Cross your fingers. And it's a worm pull. Not too excited about that work pool. Um, honestly, I'm not sure the uh, the algorithm it uses to evolve to Silcoon or Cascoon, and I honestly don't care that much to evolve it anyways because Beautifly and Dustox aren't that great. They have good moves and they got okay attack, but uh, they're very squishy, and that is a big no-no in this one. So. Pretty much, I'm just gonna catch. Oh, okay, guess I'm not gonna catch it. Eventually, I'm going to catch this and probably just save it just in case I need an HM horror because I think he can learn cut. If not now, he will later. So if I get stuck, I won't have to worry about catching anything else. I'm just using him. Yay! All right, let's see. What should we name him? Since I don't plan on using him, uh, let's go ahead and name you... Mm. Mm. What's a dumb girl's name that starts with an S? Let's name you Sue. That is a terrible name. But you will never be used. So I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and put him up just because if I have him, I'll be tempted to use him as death fodder, which I don't really want to do, because I might need him later. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Um, I'm gonna make the box for the uh, dead ones. Let's go ahead and call this Heaven. And let's find a good good wallpaper for it. What do we got here? Snow? Mm, no. Let's go with... Sky. Perfect. 
Hopefully we won't have to use that, but I say that knowing we will. Alright, I'm gonna catch uh I'm gonna go catch one more Pokemon, and that should be it for this episode. I'm really hoping for a Wingle, just because I never used one, and I would like to have one. But I don't really need one because I already have Mudkip as the starter. And a Puccina. Um I'll go ahead and catch him. Probably not going to use it, but it's good to have backups, just in case. Puccino's caught. Mm, I believe it was a male. Uh... Let's go ahead and name him. Mm, not gonna use him, so we'll just give him a simple name, just like the other one. Billy. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of thing. And I will see you next time.